Good morning, everybody. Morning. Happy Friday. How is everybody? Yay, we made it to the end of the week. We did. We did. We, I said yesterday I had a Friday feeling yesterday. I think the Friday feeling is still here. <laughs> it's still here today. Um, but yes, thank you, everyone, uh, for joining in this morning. We have got a bit, something a bit different, haven't we? A bit of a mix just today. A bit of a mix. It's not just push chairs. It's not just little bits. We've kind of got a bit of everything. Um, so today we'll be looking at all things new to the store in 2021 so it's not necessarily all new products most of them are to be honest but it tends to be what's new for yeah. us what we've recently been enjoying a bit of package yeah <laughs> recently unpackaged um and had a bit of a look at um and so we have got varieties from push chairs to your little uh, booster snug seats to your little tummy time bits and a car seat and all sorts. I'm kind of like, I feel like I'm like surrounded. No, I'm just sort of blocked in here. I'm Laura's hiding in, in the corner. Laura's hidden in all the push chairs. <laughs> um, Laura's hiding away there. Let's see who is here this morning joining us. Oh, we've got lots of good mornings already. Um, Claire Whiteley is the fastest fingers this morning. Good morning. Um, we've got um, Hannah Hill. Oh, she's a sharer. Oh, we like a sharer. Sharon is caring. Sharon is caring. <laughs> Good morning. Um, we've got Amelia. Good morning. Oh, gosh. Claire, Claire said good morning, ladies, again. Good morning. Yes. <laughs> oh, we've got a nice selection of products. Yep, yep, we have got a good variety. Um, I say we will be going through all of them um, and kind of showing you how they all work. And it's quite nice because, obviously, it's new to us, so it's probably new to you. We've got a lot of new products to kind of, yeah, to show yeah. you. But... Um, today, we've got a very exciting um, giveaway, because we say we mentioned yesterday, it, well I sneakily mentioned it was a stroller, Look, <laughs> Kirsty had no idea, she's like, what, are we giving away a stroller? Um, but yes, we, today, um, we will be giving away, um, it's the Tula Spring, so this is the Tula Spring, um, and you all have a choice um, of colour, so you can kind of choose, what happens is you always kind of, you'll get your aluminium frame, and then you can have a choice of hood, and they have six colours available to choose from. So you've got blue, pinks, grey. I think there was a green. A gre yeah, it's like a bit like a... Um, sagey green. Sagey green, yeah. yeah. Um, lots of different options and varieties to choose from. So say, your Tula, um, it's, say you, it's around about £400 it's worth. So it's really, yeah. really good. Really good prize to give away today. And literally all you need to do to be in the draw to, to win your Tula um, Urban Glide is just comment. Just comment, share, join in with the chit chat. We'd like everyone obviously joining us um, in the mornings. Um, and yeah, we'll be running through any of these. Ask as many questions that you've got. Um, and yeah, all great giveaway. Everyone's loving this. Amazing giveaway. Would love to win. So share it with friends and family. Um, because obviously the more people you get on, the more chance yeah. you've got. Tag someone in so they Tag can it, comment yeah. as well for you. The more people you have, the more chance you've got of winning. So. Yeah. I would be. I would love to win it. <laughs> Shame we can't. We can't win anything. We said this yesterday. Me and the kids like, oh, twenty-five pound just deep voucher. What well, could we eat? I did comment on yesterday's, and I didn't win. I was gutted. No, yeah, Laura did win. We did say if Laura did win, she'd have to share it. So <laughs> gonna hear that bar. <laughs> You'd have to share it between all three of us. But that's fine. Um, so say we've got a variety. Has there been anything that one of you have maybe seen that you wanted to start with? We kind of start with uh, wherever you would like. Um. Oh, Kirsty Missing looks lovely. Would love to win this for my eight-month-old. Yeah, it is a really, really nice option. So the Tula, um, if I, I was going to say, do you want to go through, through that, that one? Just so kind of then people can see. If I pass over the prices. Pass hands, Command Central over to me. The power. Laura has the power. <laughs> That's what we like to, like to call it. So Tula, um, so this is their spring. So it's kind of their stroller style. And it is really, really nice. Um, a really lovely um, stroller to look at. We have got the blue hood on ours, but you have got lots of different options. I say six different colours to choose from, and they are all our websites. So if you wanted to have a look, feel free to have a look. But say they're doing really nice, like salmon pink. Um, you've also got. Oh, like, I've just got. Sorry, Gemma Sanders just put. You have another baby joining today. Does that mean we have a new baby in the house? There. <laughs> Exciting stuff. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, unless she means the new baby in the bath. Oh, you do mean our baby? I'm not oh, sure. Which that's baby do you mean? Can you just clarify with, that with for that me, please, parents, Gemma? <laughs> we forgot what babies we had. We didn't even realise there was babies in the bath. Yeah, we'd forgotten they were down there. <laughs> yeah, so not just David has stole the show today. We have got another baby. Do you, do you know the name of this baby? Because I never know. I don't know. Kirsty has them. named all the babies in the shop. And she's like, have you got what Leo? And I'm like, who's Leo? I don't know Leo. Oh, the baby. I'm like, yep, sure. Yep. 
Sure. I know, I know what you're talking about, Kirsty. I know what you're talking Sorry, about. Sorry, carry on. So, today one of you could be the lucky winners of winning a Tula um, Spring. And I say you get your choice of colour of hood. Really, really nice option to look at. Um, so, you have got your nice big seat, you see there. Uh, it's really, really nice, clever designed, nice and tall. So, lots of headroom there for your little one. I do really like the way it's been designed and kind of the shape. Great, obviously, for little ones to kind of hop in and out by themselves especially when they get to that sort of age um, where they, they want to kind of hop in and out and they get in and out every five minutes. Um, so it's really, really nice. Obviously, you can get them. Let them get in and out by themselves. Emily Showley, I hope I've said that correctly. If I haven't, I'm really sorry. Says, looks lovely. Do my little boy in five weeks and have a two-year-old. Well, the great thing about this is it is suitable from birth yep. and you can also purchase a ride on board on yeah. the back of it, can't you? So yeah, so you there could, you go. It would yeah. be perfect. Two-year-old could be on the back and then obviously you can use it for, for a little one, which is really, really nice. Um, I do like, it's, it's got some different uh, kind of unique features as you kind of I go through it, you'll kind of see. You have got a hood extension, so that you can see how far forward that really does come, giving the little one really good coverage in there. The material itself protects the little one UV50, so perfect for those summer months. But then you do keep your ventilated panel all the way along the back, and it's quite a big ventilated panel, but also doubles up as a peephole, because obviously the little one is world facing, it allows you to see your little one. At the back here, you have got your drawstring recline, so just pull down and that will completely lie down for you, which is really, really nice. And if you look from the front, you can see a nice uh, flat seat there for your little one. At the back, you have got your magnetic cover. Again, we love a magnet. <laughs> we do love a magnet. No, no flappy fabric. Someone's already put that. No, no <laughs> flappy fabrics. They'll beat us to it. All right, we've forgotten. Yep. And then you've got your little little tabs either side. And then what they do is just kind of hold your push chair up. No, sorry, not your push chair up. It doesn't hold the whole... That would be amazing if these hooks hold the push chair up. Um, just hold the little bit of material. So you have got your mesh panel at the back there. So again, great for the summer months. Um, just so you can obviously have that great airflow for your little one. Really easy break at the back, so it's just a push down and push up. So you can roll your foot along the top. So super easy to do. Just going to pull my back and my straps up. So it's super easy to kind of sit this one up. And you have got that mesh pocket at the back, so you can just hang the straps in there. And I quite like one thing we have all said is how big the basket is really for a compact posture and it's really, really nice and easy to access from the back. And it does come all the way forward. I would probably say that's baguette friendly. I know we haven't talked about baguette friendly baskets for a long time. Well, well how many baguettes are you going to get in? Yeah, I think you can get quite a lot of baguettes in there, which is good. We like a baguette friendly uh, posture and basket. So then you can tuck your ventilation away. You have got that zip panel. So you can just tuck that back away. I do oh, like... Sorry, I've got Jo Meekin. She's put, I'm snuggled up on the sofa with my baby as we've just had our 16-week jabs. Oh, oh no. I hope baby's okay because I know sometimes it doesn't go yeah. down very well. So Kelpo is yeah. just your friend. <laughs> Kelpo will be your friend. <laughs> Bless. But one thing I do like about this is the extended handle. So rather than a pivot handle, you have got a telescopic handle. It's a great uh, for, obviously varying of different heights and on more of a stroller it is more unusual, very unique isn't, isn't it, it? Yeah. very unique to be on a stroller you have got your wrist support there just for um just for nice support obviously if you was to ever let's push your go for whatever reason <laughs> hopefully you won't <laughs> but it's, it's a safety safety precaution it's a safety precaution you just never know it's not there for intent of releasing no. your child but it's also quite nice when child's a little bit older they can, can hold on. on to that yeah which is quite nice. I do like that little feature there. It is classed as a one-handed fold. And it's, a, say, slightly different. There's no mechanism in the handle or anything like that. It's just hiding underneath your seat material here. So you lift this up, and you can see here, this is your mechanism to fold the push chair. And what you need to do is slide the blue, and then lift up on your handle, and push down. So it's super, super easy to do. Push in to make sure your catch is on, and if your handle is a little bit lower, it will freestand for you. 
So super, super compact, really, really nice. And it's not too heavy either for a kind of, um, more, it's not necessarily, it's not an all-terrain stroller, is it? But it's kind of... No, more, it's kind of, but it's more rural than yeah. urban. Yeah. Sort of top It's of kind it. of very much comparing almost something to... Um, like Baby Jogger City Mini, isn't it? Yeah. Something, something on those sort of lines. Um, but it is a really, really nice option to look at. Super easy to work and get up and down. And you can double this up as a carry handle, so if you're having to, to transport and move it about. You do then get your catch on the left. So you're going to pull your catch out and then just release back up and off you go. So it's really, really nice. You have got your foam-filled wheels, so they are puncture-proof as well. But I say, really, really nice option to look at. Um, and you are looking at prices, depending on, because uh, you can have choose your frame and choose your hood, um, you're looking around your 39995. That's your starting price. Yeah, your starting price. You can buy an additional bumper bar if your little one likes a bumper bar. Yeah. Like we say, you can get your boogie board as well. And your rain covers are also an additional purchase for yeah. this one. But all in all, I think that's a really, really handy, compact, definitely. You can have a car seat on here. isn't it? You can yeah. have a car seat. So they do have um, the car seat adapters that you can put um, a maxi cozy car seat on here, which is really, really great. You can get things like a cup holder that just hang on to the side. Emily Shirley, oh, again with the surname, so sorry, Emily, if I, I have said it wrong. Um, been using the hand straps myself in case I slip in the snow. Yeah, so, yeah that is for a good that idea. Exact reason that is a perfect so example like that, to isn't use it, it for. Cap, you just never know. You could slip and fall. Obviously, you've got that. Um, so They're loving the fold on this as well. It is, it is really, really nice. The fold. It's very unique. Very. It's a bit similar, something slightly similar to mountain buggy, isn't it? In the kind yeah. of mechanism underneath the seat. It just makes it a little bit easier to control, which I quite like. Um, but yeah, really, really lovely um, stroller. Um, I must admit, I was very excited once uh, it came into store. And I say one of you will be the lucky winner today to win. So yeah, share with uh, friends and family and get your comments in. Looks like a lot of people choice. would be very happy to win this this yeah. morning. A I lot would of be people. happy. <laughs> I wish I was. I wish I could be a lucky winner. But I say it's really, really nice. The weight limit on this, I say, goes... Um, all the way up to 22 kilograms. I was just about to say someone's asking about that, but you beat me to beat it. There you, you go. It's like I know. It's like I know the it's people psychic. here. Yeah. Um, so yeah, 22 kilograms. So it's a long-lasting stroller as well, which is really great. But it's also a big seat. It's nice and tall and long, so it will last you weight limit. And fingers crossed, should last you um, by the side of the seat as well. I'm just going to hide this one back. Oh, Abby Jane, just wanted to say hello and that I will have to watch this later as my son's currently on a live video with his teachers. Oh, blah. Uh, we'll tune in later. Tune in later. <laughs> you have made your comment, so you are in the uh, yep. option to win. It says, what terrain is this good for? So like we say, it's good for a, 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 quite a mix, really. You're yes. not going to go climbing a mountain with it, but no. it's definitely going to get you around mm. your park walks, your woodland walks. Yeah. Um, quite easily, I would say. Yeah, things like that. Because they are, they're fairly, they're not the biggest of wheels, but they are fairly... Um, fairly wide wheels so they are quite great for you, you're not necessarily all terrain so you wouldn't take it over a muddy field or anything like that would no you? I would, a lot of I had someone on the phone the other day and she was like what's the difference what do you mean by all terrain mm. and I said um so an all terrain pushchair would go down a bridle way and she said what's a bridle way and I went okay a bridle <laughs> way is where you would take a horse but not a dog am I getting any closer <laughs> to understanding so yeah anything that's not kept not mown yeah. That's what we sort of class as your all-terrain sort of yeah. strolling. If it's a pathway and it's a bit beaten, even if it's like yeah, not beaten brilliantly, then generally these sorts of things will yeah. will cope with. But yeah, so it has got good, that good suspension. It's just you'd probably want for a kind of a more of a all-terrain push have the bigger wheels. But yeah. really great option for most for most as well. Even if you live in a city, it could be something great for you because of how compact and it, it very nimble up. as well, isn't it? Yeah, very 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 much. So, so you get your comments in and say, and I will keep coming back to that. Um, so if anyone does join, so we have had a nice. couple of me, a couple of people spotted the jewels hiding behind you. Oh, there. did so, they? Yeah. So Again, it's, it's like a good I one knew. to move on to. It's like I knew. <laughs> <laughs> we've got a bit, like I say, I like how much blue we had out. We did say we've got a couple of blue uh, colours out, which is quite nice. Especially like the navy. Um, the navy is really, really nice as well. I had this conversation with Joe the other week, and I was saying that I would have navy boy or girl. Yeah, it's a I very love, classic I love colour. Navy. Yeah. I, one thing. Um, what was it? I think I had a, a video consultation the other day, and I brought 
I think it might have been this. They're like, oh, the navy. I was like, yeah, it, it does catch a lot of people people's eyes. It's just a bit different to your usual greys and blacks. <laughs> yeah. We literally said yesterday, because obviously we had all the high chairs, a lot of them are grey. Um, and they're like, grey's the new black. <laughs> it's like, it is. It is, literally. It's great that obviously that certain brands are going and adding a bit more colour um, to their push chairs, which is lovely. Because some people like a bit of bold, bold colouring. Yeah. You I'm stand not. out from the crown sometimes. <laughs> I'm more neutral, but I say I do. I mean, I must admit, I do like the your blue tones. And I must, paprika, when that came into store for your egg too, I was like, wow, I do really like that colour. It's a bit of pop. We've got a bit of pop of colour in here today, which yeah. is good. We do like a bit of pop of colour. So I'm just going to transfer my bumper bar over. I've got a couple of people commenting on the weight limit of the um, spring. I just have to read this one out because I find this amusing. Kerry L. Brown has put 22 kilograms. Amazing. I struggled with my son as he was over 15 kilograms when he was two. Nearly 12 now and built like a tank. <laughs> I've got one the same, so I completely understand yeah. that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some, Some of them just grow quicker than others. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And it, it, it's just one of those things, isn't it? Yeah. And especially like you said, when you were looking at push chairs, um, I didn't, didn't think about it. You didn't think about it. So 15 kg, you think, oh, that'd be fine. And now a lot more go up to 25 kg, which is a lot more, yeah, sort of or the high 20, weight 22, limit. yeah. So yeah. it is, is a really good, really good weight limit on it. Yeah, definitely. So, so this here um, is the Jules Hub Plus. So new into store. So we have had the Jules Hub in store before, but the Jules Hub Plus is their kind of, um, yeah, they've kind of adapted it and made it even better than the Hub, which is really, really nice. Um, I do like this. It's great because it's it's a really compact. Um, push chair but it's got those nice big wheels so perfect if you are living in a more of a city um, uh, urban living but obviously you do still go for walks you still do go on like park yeah. walks and things like that it's still great for your sort of lifestyle or you just want something that's a little bit more compact um, for your everyday everyday push chair which is really nice Amy Brig I've got my fingers crossed for you darling she says five days overdue I'm hoping some push chair envy triggers will will trigger the oxytocin oh bless if you go into labor whilst you're watching you've got to let us yeah, know you, let us know. you could be the <laughs> lucky winner sure comment yeah you need to tell us tell us we could we could like we could fix it all for you we could yeah do it. there you go who knows we're not just push chair experts you know <laughs> We can do a lot more. Um, but I say, really, really nice. I do like your jewels hub. And I say, the navy is really lovely. So a little background on your jewels. They are very environmentally friendly as a, as a whole company. Um, so, for example, you, they plant a tree for every push share that's sold. Um, materials are all made out of like recycled plastic bottles and things like that. So they are really, really lovely. And I like how they kind of think of it all. You also get lifetime warranty which is great. Such a good peace of mind, that, isn't it? To know that yeah, you just don't you have just, to worry. You don't necessarily always think about that. And you're thinking, lifetime, obviously, any, any um, issues with it, obviously, you have got that warranty behind you, which is really, really lovely. Really great quality as well. Um, luxurious um, feel to your jaws. You have got your completely gate-opening bumper, but it's slightly different because I like how it rotates here. So you can completely shove it out of the way. And then a zip-on apron. So zip on apron in there um, and then you have got that breathable mattress as well and it's quite deep for a compact um, push chair it's nice and deep carry cot again really soft luxurious material carry cot um, is the standard oh, we've, a... we've started something now Emma James my boy is 20 months and 15 kilos it's not a competition ladies it's not a competition <laughs> <laughs> it's all right <laughs> I would love to know though I would love to be interesting just to, to let you know on average they go down again because I was really worried because my little boy was two and a half and very close to 18 kilos and he's gone back down to 16 now yeah and I've not starved him or put him on a strict <laughs> diet but they do they sort of it's stretch just kind out of like, yes. slim down a bit so they can go back down again so don't panic don't too panic much, don't, don't panic, panic. <laughs> it's okay you'll be all right because I remember you were saying about it's like is it just going to keep going at this rate yeah like, what's going to happen we're going to be out of house you're living with a giant yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. We're all good. It's, it's slowing down. Like I said, it's what, one of the things that happens. A lot of people loving the colours we've got on here today, especially this one. Yeah, lots I thought of I might comments catch on the paprika. Eyes. Yeah. So we've got a bit of, bit of pop of colour, which is good. Not just grey, which is quite nice. You have got your big ventilated panel at the back, but something unique with Jules, they have got the panoramic ventilation as well. 
So all the way around the back bottom there. So great for, for those per the, the summer months when it's nice and warm, but also great for if you're using this as your Moses basket, maybe indoors. It's also quite nice because it gives little one a chance to see out and things, doesn't it? Yeah. When they get a bit more interested in the big wide world and yeah. a bit more wide-eyed and bushy-tailed, shall we say? Yeah, curious. They get to that point where they're like, "I don't want to be in here, Mum. <laughs> I, I don't want to be in here so they can see <laughs> out." Everyone keeps trying to speak to me. I want to be able to see them. Yeah. <laughs> I want to speak to everyone. Taking your carry cot is super easy. You've just got your little hand slots here. Push those in and then lift off. So really easy. And then you can transfer to your bumper bar as well. So with, with the Jules Hub, um, it's not like some of their other products where it's a one frame, two fabric. Because you do get your carry cot on your seat. You're just swapping that bumper bar over. Just to clarify, this is the Jules Hub Plus because I've yep. got a couple of people asking what the name of it so it's the Jules Hub Plus. Yeah, Jules Hub Plus. So um, it's their new version of the hub. So if you Google Jules Hub, you'll see a difference in prices. So obviously the Jules Hub Plus is the newer one, so hence yep. why it's in our new to store live. <laughs> and I was very excited to have it in the navy and the tan. It's quite nice. But it's very similar, isn't it? It's just had a few yeah. update, updated version um, and features as from the Jules Hub. Um, but yeah, looking at your seat unit, you do keep the same sort of styled hood as the hub. So yeah, full extension, so it comes all the way forward, and then you have got your ventilated panel. And I like the material on this um, hood. So it's more of a stretchy material, but it is, there's multiple layers. So it's not necessarily really thin, and um, it's really, really nice. Flexible, so you can kind of flick it one way if you want to kind of get a little bit more access to little one. But obviously you block the sun out of their face, or if it's, say, cold, Cold and windy like it has been and snowing and, you know, I'm ready for summer. I'm ready for, yeah, Tom and I both said yesterday, like, I'm ready for spring now. Yeah, I'm ready for the snow to melt now as well because it's just lingering a little bit too long now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I love... I'm ready for it to go. <laughs> I love the cold weather and the kind of cold feel up until Christmas. And then after Christmas, I'm like, yeah, come on, where's summer? Come on. <laughs> Christmas is over. I want the nice warm weather. Because we don't get it for very long, do we? We don't get, no. we don't get warm weather for very long, so it's just nice to have it, you know. Most I think of it the felt end. shorter last year as well because of obviously lockdown and everything couldn't go away and things like that. So summer did feel a bit shorter. Yeah, than it did, yeah. Definitely. So lockdown's definitely, I think a lot of people have found it a lot more, a lot harder in, in the, the winter, colder, yeah. in the winter than it was the summer. And the summer was great. You could, you could be in your garden, kind of sunbathing, getting a lovely tan. No, in the winter you can't. <laughs> no, well you never know. We might still be in lockdown in summer, so we might get another round of it. You never, you know. never know. We could all be tanned from our sitting in a lovely garden. Be optimistic that we won't be, but you never know. You never know. We never know. Fingers crossed we're not, but you never know. Fingers crossed we can have people back in. Got into a couple store. of people asking me what the main differences are between this hub and the, the old hub. So this one has got a slightly bigger weight limit on it. This is now 22 kilograms just like your spring yeah so obviously more kits out for those older ones it's also got your handy doody little trick in the basket trick in the basket i don't know if we've got any batteries i don't we? think we have <laughs> but trick in the basket's not going to work but what you get with your jewels hub plus it's the same on the day plus if you have seen that in the live when we featured it you do get two led lights so you get one at the back here and it's just powered with batteries just in the back here and then you also have one at the front so great for those um Especially those winter walks where it's always a bit, a bit dull and a bit dark. A bit darker. Um, and you also do get your reflective wheels as well. So that's a really nice feature that they've added um, to your Jules Hub Plus. I'm just trying to think if there's... Obviously, your fabrics have all changed. Your colours and uh, colour-wise. Colour-wise, yeah. Your colour-wise, your fabrics have changed. They've kind of added... Say, the Jules... Um, obviously, they did the Jules Day Plus, which had the LED lights, and it was a really good really nice hit wasn't it people really really like that feature great um, feedback on that so i think they've just gone, yeah so wow. they've added to it to a lot of this kind of the folding and mechanism and things like that is very similar um to the original so just a slight slight differences they have made they've changed kind of the shape of your bumper bar slightly and the detailing as well um but yeah slight differences they have made they've kept the same feature on the harness which i do really like it naturally protrudes out um, make it so much easier to get your little one in and out of the, the push chair because as I release the button, they all stay up and they stay out of the way. So obviously, getting your child in and out, you're not having to find straps behind them, which is really, really nice. You have got your recline 
on the back. So it's a nice, light, flat seat. But obviously, you have got that carry cart as well. And then you've Claire got... Claire Wright has asked, do you have to get the carry cart with the Jules hub? No, you don't. You can buy them individually. Yeah. So be it that you want to use it as a from birth stroller or be it as you want to use it as a stroller for an older child, yeah. you don't have to buy the, um, the carry cot no, as well. You don't. They can... Uh, did I have got them here. So the push chair on its own is 619 or from 619. Obviously, some colours do change the price and your carry cot is from 219. So obviously, if you do want that two in one, it comes to eight three eight. But yeah. no, if you want the stroller on its own, it comes at six nineteen. Yeah. So yeah, really, really good. I, I quite like it. Again, it's it's just a kind of the perfect sort of travel system, really. Um, for if you wanted something really compact, um, as well. Taking it off is slightly different, um, to some of the other pushers. If you have seen the hub, you'll know. But what you do is you lift your footrest up, and then you have got a lever at the back. So pushing your lever up, and then lifting off. So really, really clever and really easy to do. You can have your seat parent and world facing as well. I'll just show you how the fold works on here. So you have got that retractable basket, so super easy to kind of easy access to your basket um, as well. And they have upgraded the basket. So before it was all material kind of that followed it through, they have made it a mesh basket, the same as the Day Plus, which is really nice. So you can see, see into your basket a lot more, making it a bit easier as well brake at the back there but you have got your telescopic handle so it comes up really really high and i like the angle of your handle as well on here fold just your two triggers push those up onto the frame and then your handle will drop down to the floor then you can either grab your bar or you have got your carry strap and you can put it on your shoulder and look how compact that is really really nice and compact really easy to do as well and as way the wheel kind of sits it will freestand for you as well so tucking that out of the way in the house maybe it is really really nice the wheels where the wheels are designed it kind of sits into place for you there isn't a catch on here so you have just got you pull out your wheels i've done that in an awkward way <laughs> Pull out your wheels. Let's do that again. I make that look <laughs> so hard work. It's easier than that. Really. It's easier than that. Trust me. Oh, am I making this look really hard now, aren't I? There we go. And then bring your handle up. So bring your wheels, then bring your handle out. The easiest way to do it. You can say you can have your seat parent all world facing. And it just clicks into place. So it's super easy to transfer. And move about let us know what do you think of the jewels yeah a lot of people liking it so it is a really really nice option to look at i love the lights they're handy they're not something you think you necessarily want and then when you hear that there's a push chair with them you think yeah why don't all push chairs have that that's a really yeah, it's a good really idea. clever little feature yeah i think that you, you, can, you can buy add. buggy lights to add onto other push chairs, but it's just really nice that jules have thought you know what we're going to worry about that for you yeah we've already integrated them into the frame yeah so you've done. got them all you need is a Couple of batteries and you're good to go. Yeah. I think I'm feeling I've got the flow of showing push chairs. I might just show all the push chairs. Yeah, if you're on. in the if you're in a rhythm. I'm in I'm in a rhythm. If you're in a rhythm, you know. let's not break the rhythm, that's fine. I've got used to showing them again. <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna there we go. I'm gonna wash the babies out of the way. Sorry, baby David. Unless I've missed it. I don't think it was an, a baby announcement. I think it was about our babies. Oh, so <clears throat> my bad. <laughs> baby David. Um, but as you can probably, we have shown this a couple of times, new into store, of course. Um, and we are the only uh, retailer with this currently, which is really, really nice. Really so excited. that's why we're so excited about it. We're so excited. And we keep bringing we're it out. We're so excited. And we do really love it. We've shown it so many times in video consultations as well. People are really, really loving this. Um, and this is the Casato Wow Continental. And we have got it in the Fika Forest design. Um, and they say really, really lovely. Um, and they say it's got so many different features. It's kind of more of a um, more of a traditional kind of feel. It's very similar to something like um, if you have looked at the traditional Vinicius. Um, it's very similar to that in like your prestige as well. Yeah. 
I think we've had, I, I mean, I know personally myself, I don't know about you, Georgia, but I've done a video, a couple of video consults, and obviously, because this is so new, Yeah. Um, customers are coming with me with a, a short list of pushers that they like, and I go, oh, let me pull another one yeah. out, and I pull this out, and they go, oh, oh not seen this not one. Not seen this, I'm like, you yeah. won't have done, because no. it's new. <laughs> We're very lucky. Is, yeah, it is definitely um, competing with a lot of yeah. what we, we have in store, isn't and it? And you don't realise, it's, it's really good, obviously. Because I say, because what we kind of tend to do is customers kind of say their criteria, and we will then find the pushers that kind of meet those criteria for them. And we have brought this out quite a lot, so it does meet a good variety of, of people's um, yeah, definitely. needs, which is really, really nice. We've obviously got it set up here in the carry cot mode. It is quite a tall pushchair, which I quite like. Nice and tall. And then you it, have. It got does sort of. Uh, I mean, this compared to. I'm just looking on here. This compared to your jewels, they are. Kind yeah. of worlds apart. Mummy and baby. <laughs> it's, very, but, it's like this in the Wowie. Somebody, when we had them in the live together, it's like, that looks tiny compared <laughs> to that. It's like the Wowie is a, is a really compact pusher, and then the Well Concentric is quite a. Um, it's, not, it's more of a. It's a larger pusher, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Definitely a larger pusher. Taller, and you've got that grander curry cut on there. So they do look like really little and large. <laughs> that is the, yeah. kind of how it is. You have got your ventilated panel at the back. And I like the little features with Cassato. They do your little peepo. I say Cassato is very a child-friendly brand. Is one thing I say. They sell push chairs and baby things, but they love making things really, really interesting. Um, and, and they obviously do partner with the Sussex Baby Lab, so they, that's how they design all their prints and all their patterns. So it's not just somebody just deciding one day I'm going to just draw a random pattern. It is designed to stimulate your little one. A lot of people say, oh, wow, it's so big, it's huge. It um, didn't help, I've got it right yeah, at the front of the girl. A couple of people asking um, about the weight of it. So, I don't know about you, but weight off the top of my head, I don't know the exact number, but if you do want the exact number, yeah. you can just drop us a message and, and one yeah. of the girls will be able to send that yeah, over send to you. To but message. personally, myself, from pushing it, I don't find it an overly no. heavy pusher. The, only, the carry cut's a little bit of a heavier push, uh, carry cut, just yeah. because it's a bit bigger, but pushing... Considering it's a larger pusher, I don't find any different to pushing this to some of the others. So yeah. it's not really, really light. It's quite, we were very surprised by how light it does really yeah. feel to push, which is really, really nice. You have got your feature of your colic lift. So you've got your colic lift mattress there, and you can just adjust that at the bottom of your carry cot. Um, but it is really, really nice. Super soft material. And your hood just pops up like so. You do get your little weather shield, so you can hook that up, and you have got your little window here as well. So it's really kind of those, again. Those, I like a product that's got features that just kind of stand out. Yeah, stand out to the crowd. Again, it's those little things that you don't think you might not need every yeah. day, but the one day where you are in a blizzard or really he really yeah. horrible wind. Yeah, like, oh, I wish I could I mean, like we've stand been that up or just to the seaside sometimes in the summer, and that alone, sometimes yeah. especially in, in in England, sometimes the seaside is actually quite cold because yeah. of the wind. Um, and features like that are brilliant, then aren't they? Because yeah. they're just going to protect them and Definitely. keep them asleep, hopefully, which Fingers is what crossed, we hope yeah. for. <laughs> don't wake up! Don't wake up! <laughs> Taking your carry cut off, you've just got memory buttons, so you have got an M just inside this one here, so that's how you know which one is the memory button, and then all you're doing is lifting it off the other side. So pushing in. Can you take out the fabrics for washing? Um, your yeah. mattress cover especially is definitely, I know that is machine washable. Yeah, um, and you have got in, um, the ability to belt coil this all off to wash. Which is great. So this can all kind of slot out and be popped in the washing machine. Um, although it is wipeable material, so you can obviously just wipe it down. Baby wipe, baby wipe, it's a great thing. Yep. Just get most things off. Anyone is who is an expectant parent, rather Take than baby already everywhere. Parent, trust me, baby wipes are going to become your new yeah. best friends. Yeah. They're going to be in your handbag, they're going to be in your car, they just put them every, have a packet in every room. Yeah. I great. don't even have a child, but I have baby wipes still. I have oh, a dog. you've got a dog, yeah. I have a dog, so they're the <laughs> same equivalent, really, in some ways. They you know, make a mess, yeah. you know. But you sort of assign, these are my downstairs wipes, these are my yeah. upstairs wipes, these are my car wipes, these, these are my, are my bag, bag wipes. wipes. <laughs> How many wipes should I get? Let's just get a pack of 20, why not? <laughs> Just, we need as many as we can. Yep. Yeah, you don't realise. And then a lot, I know a lot of people are saying like when they don't have a child with them and don't have the bag with the wipes and then they need the wipes when they're not. Yeah, you yeah there's been wipes. times where I've gone out with my friends, like just with a little tiny handbag yeah. and gone, I've <gasps> not got my wet wipes. <laughs> what am I going to do? <laughs> How am I going to cope? I can't cope with this. So you always need baby wipes. Baby, and also, talking about baby wipes, you could keep your baby wipes 
You can always have one for your bush chair in here. Yeah, got, push chair wipes as well as bag wipes. Yes, push chair wipes. If you've got a little pocket in your basket, you can tuck some baby wipes, a spare nappy, that's what Joe would say. Um, so you've always got one with ever you. Ever practical, Joe is ever practical. Always be prepared. Me, you know me. Snacks. snacks. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have snacks in there, on the go snacks, why not, you know, never have too many snacks, but, but I, you know, you could also have your nappy and your wipes in there. That's got mm. lots of pockets, got lots of things in. A lot of people saying yes, wipes, definitely, yeah. obviously a lot of people on here either are mums or even doggy mums saying agreeing with us, yeah. um, and Kaylee side has just put, I buy them by the box, I'm with you there, I buy them by the box as well, those big boxes of multi-packs. Sometimes I buy two boxes if they're on offer and I just keep them in the air and cover, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, just stack up. Because so I stock on them and then go, that's it, I've got them for life now. I'll never run out of a baby yep. wrap again. It's all good. You fold on this one, um, you have to get your two triggers and your grey button. So push that up and it kind of concentines and go, kind of goes within itself, which is really, really nice. It's a bit of a longer a fold on a push chair, so you do kind of have to make sure it will fit into your boots. If you are interested in this push chair and you would like to know the dimensions, just send us a Facebook message and we can also get that sorted for you and get, let you know because it's really hard at the minute. Before, we was allowing people to kind of try push chairs into their boot. But obviously, with the store being short, we can't do that, unfortunately. But we can get the measurements for you so you can have a look and try it yourself. You've then got your catch on the inside. So pull your catch and then you just want to flick out. You have got a very clever feature on your Cosato uh, Wow Continental of your multi-suspension, so you can adjust your suspension as well. And you have got your telescopic handle, which, next to me, <laughs> it's very tall. So you can be really, really tall, and this will be a great push chair for yourself. And for child, of course. Yeah, that's not important, as long as, as, long as driver's happy. <laughs> but that's one thing we do get, isn't it? If, if, yourself is, if you are quite tall... You want to make yeah, sure you don't look silly pushing good the push range chair. On that. There is a good range of height. Leave at the back. Um, you can recline your seat. They say it's for when child can start, start to support their own head. So that's what they would recommend. So not necessarily from birth, you would use your carry cot. And you ha always get a little toy included with Cosato, which is a really clever feature on there. You do get your adjustable leg rest. But I say it's a really, really nice option to look at if you are looking for something that's kind of a more multi-terrain push chair and you are maybe quite... You don't necessarily have to be really tall, but obviously it's a little bit of a taller push chair. Gemma P P Pomeroy? Pomeroy? Sorry, I'm really, really rubbish with names. I'm rubbish with names. She's five foot six, aren't you? Are you asking? Yeah. <laughs> She's five foot six. Was it me and you were yeah. yeah. five foot six. That's our first thing we say to people now. It's almost like, do you know when you go somewhere and you're like, all <laughs> oh, right, there's, um, say your name and one interesting fact about yourself. That's what <laughs> my only one is now when I do video presentations. I'm Georgia and I'm five foot six. <laughs> <laughs> Just to give you an idea of how tall this push chair is. Yeah. So five foot six to give you a bit of an idea. I find the, the seat really, really nice height for myself and the handle. I probably wouldn't want to go any higher for myself. Um, just that's a little bit too tall so yeah, for so me. So if you're under five foot six, I would say this probably doesn't. No, probably not. Wouldn't recommend it as much. And um, you obviously have got your Cosato Wowie, which is also new in the store. Um, we but just we ran out of room. We ran out of push chair room. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yes, you have got the Wowie. Um, obviously, we have done lots of different lives with the Wow Continental and Wowie. So if you would like to see that, again, just send a message, and we can always send the link to the videos for you. But yes, I really, really like the Cosato Wow Continental. It's it's been really popular, hasn't it? It has a been lot, very popular. A lot, a lot of people. And it is on pre-order and we have got lot quite of, a few. A lot of people loving the little toy as well. Yeah, it's, again, it's one of those things I don't normally think about, isn't it, push chairs? And it's very rare that they kind of include a little toy. Yeah. And it really, my favourite thing, I, I love reading what it says on them. So this one says, we'll bounce for biscuits. I will bounce for biscuits as well. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, true of you. I'm like, we've had, we've had donuts this morning, I'm not going to lie. So She's we'll, hyped up on sugar. I'm hyped up on sugar. <laughs> I am. It's Friday. You've had a bit oh, of sugar on a yeah. Friday. Emily, who asked, she's five foot one. Yeah, you might find it a bit tall for you, Emily, I'm afraid. Yeah, yeah maybe the wowie. The... If you really yeah. like the Cosato patterns and uh, prints, you've got or the just wowie. Or just the wow might. Oh, wow, wow, yeah. The wow itself can sometimes yeah. be a little bit smaller. So, yeah, there's plenty of options out there if you do like this. Is their tallest, traits, isn't it? Probably, I'll and say. this is probably the biggest. So, plenty of options out there. We're getting stuck on the bath. There yeah. we go. David in his bath, in my way. Bless them, they're going to be all wrinkly and all sorts. They've been in that bath for a long time. 
Poor David. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're going to be all withered up like prunes. <laughs> they don't like them. Good old time, it's okay. Right, I pass you that. Thank you. So the last push that we have got here, um, well, you've again probably seen it spotted in the corner. A lot of people were liking this one thing. Well, a lot of people calling it copper and, and burnt colour. It is called paprika. <laughs> yeah, paprika. But, paprika, yes, the colour here. Is. They have got, um, say, egg two um, has been recently released and it has been really, really popular. They have made lots of changes from the original egg to the egg two. They've made like a longer seat. You've got your ventilation now in the carry cot and in the seat unit. You also get um, how you take the carry cot off is a different feature. It's also a bigger frame, slightly different wheels um, as well. So lots of different changes. I've got Hannah McCarthy asking, does it come in other colours? Now, I'm not sure if you mean this one or your Casato, but it's a bit of a delay, everything isn't it? here will come in, in different, different colours. And they are Obviously, on our website. With your Casato one, all your colours are a form of pattern. This is probably the most one neutral. of the more mellow and neutral. They do. They the do. Content comes in four different colours. Yeah. So Bureau, Harewood. Harewood. Which is a green. Um, Park. Yeah. So there are a variety yeah. of different color, um, patterns on there. Bureau's, and your egg um, as well just come in a, a range of colours. So. Bureau is jo, Joe's favourite. It's, it's the green, it's like a tweedy effect. I thought it was Harewood. Oh, I don't know. No, I think you're getting a bit confused. Am I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Probably. there's quite a few, there's quite a lot. There's quite, obviously, the, well, we also have different patterns and prints as well. But egg, um, if it was the egg you were talking about, yes, egg does come in different colours. This is the paprika. I'm trying to think on top of my head how many they have. They've probably got about seven. Well, we've got one, two, three, four out in store missing already. Missing feather, missing diamond black. Yeah, so that's six. Off the top of our head, are we going to get quizzed when we get out of oh, here? Oh gosh, like... we are. We're going to get quizzed here. There's another one. I feel like there is another one. Um, but yes, there is different colours available um, in the egg too. This is the paprika. It's one we like to get out. It's a bit of fun, a bit, bit of pop of colour, um, which is really, really olive. I knew it. I knew it would come to me. <laughs> When I, when I wasn't even trying to think, it came to me. But yes, your egg's really, really nice. You have now got that ventilated panel along the back. And you've got your material just kind of keeping that up out of the way. Two buttons. It still keeps this typical egg shape, which I really like. Um, it just obviously makes the seat a little bit longer. Um, because obviously with the egg shape, you do lose a little bit of length. Not now that they've added it onto the egg too, which is really, really good. I've got someone saying I can't see my comments. I don't know if you mean you can't see them or lovely or I can't see them. I'm trying to get through, but there's so many. No, yeah, there is. They kind of come through, flying through so at me. If you have got a particular question and I haven't got to it, Just feel free to again. keep asking it. Yeah. <laughs> Just go, Laura, stop ignoring me, Laura. Yeah. <laughs> She'll but get no, to you. There's a lot of people joined in this morning, so they're, they're coming in thick yeah. and fast. So people are joining. That might be why. There is also a slight delay, so just bear with us. <laughs> yeah, there is a slight delay, so we kind of get it um, a, a slightly later than what you would be typing. So that's why we kind of get confused on which product we are talking about with colours and things. Um, but thank you for everyone that has joined. Obviously, you made a comment. You are in the, um, I always say in the option, <laughs> in the run to win um, the Tula Spring stroller. And you do get the choice of hood. So it'd be on an aluminium frame with a black seat material, but you do get the choice of your hood. Um, so so many different options to choose from, from blue. This is kind of, I think they do two different blue options. They've also got your pink and um, like a sagey green color as well. So lots of different options. And it does go all the way up to 22 kilograms. So it's a really lovely option to look at. One handed fold. And it has got that telescopic handle making it really nice and tall for those tall parents. Great one for grandparents, I think, as well, because it's kind of an all-use sort of one as well, isn't it? It's kind of, yeah. you're not necessarily, it's got a high weight limit. It'd be really great for... Yeah, it's going to last them all the way through. Um, I've got Jamie Lee Turner here asking, what's the size difference in the carry cot compared to the Casato? Um, again, we're talking egg here. Egg always seems quite small, and I've had big babies, since big babies keep coming up today. <laughs> um, so they have sort of slightly increased the size of your... Yeah. Carry cotton your egg two to your egg one. It <coughs> isn't as big as your Casato Wow Continental is going to be. That being Try said, it, it should still see you through to obviously that six month stage um, where little one is ready then to move into their seat unit. If um, 
if you do ever find that they're growing out of it early, yeah. then you can always use your infant inserts in your seat units just to get them. Yeah. Get they them both will go from birth earlier, to nine kilograms, won't they? Yeah. So they're both tested to the same weight limit. Um, you probably will never need a carry cot quite as big as your Wow Continental. No. Um, I wouldn't say you would. It's just kind of the style of it as well. Yeah. Um, By the time little one fills this, they sh they would in theory already have been in their seat unit, wouldn't they? So, yeah. y yes, it is smaller, but it's still going to get you through. Should have put our baby in there. I think that will help because it's really hard to give a bit of an idea. Let's take the baby out of the bath. Come on, baby. You're nice, you're nice and clean. You're nice and clean now. Come on. So, if I put baby in, this is roughly around the same sort of size of a six month old. So, the little one would be coming out of the, the carry cot at this point. So, that gives you a bit of an idea of size wise. So, plenty of room, obviously, in the length as well. Um, but, say, so that's the sort of stage where you kind of start to move little one out of there yeah. and put them into the seat unit. Come on, should we go back in the bath? <laughs> <laughs> You're dirty again now. Come on, get the dirty up. thing. Don't ask, well, they've, they've got the clothes on, but it's okay. <laughs> it's all right. So, Emily has said, I think the egg can turn into a double, can't it? Well, you're beating us to it. Yes, it can. You can get your adapters to turn it into a tandem, yeah. um, which is the only one that we have here today that does that. Um, and we do have the old egg on display. As, oh, no, we've got the new one on display as that as well, haven't we? So yeah. if you did want to see that, let us know. We can always either send you some pictures or video consult to see that. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, great, really great because you can have this as a tandem push chair. I've just popped the seat on. So you have got your apron and all eggs come with their seat liner standard come with cream but you can choose which egg um, seat liner you would like they have gray pink blue i think on the new one it's just gray and cream oh is it just yeah. gray and cream on the new one we might still have a couple of old yeah egg they just won't fit on the um egg too but say if you have got original egg and you are wanting to kind of change your color of your, yeah. your seat liner we have got lots available still from the original egg so just send again, send us a message and we can kind of get that sorted for you. Really, really nice. I think it, it, is, it does come with your um, apron. You can get a foot muff as well. And a foot muff is slightly different to an apron um, because what will happen is it will kind of go all the way at the back and it'll be more of a fluffy um, material, which is really, really nice. And you've got your clips here, just kind of popping that over your bumper bar. So it always looks neat. That's one thing I do like about egg. The apron always looks nice and snug and nice and neat. Really nice large hood. And one of the clever features they have changed from the original egg to egg two is the harness change. So you can adjust your harness just with the mechanism in the back of the pushchair. So as your little one starts to grow, you can move it up and down. So really, really nice. <laughs> Sorry, someone's just put, loved how you tapped, patted the baby back as you picked it up. We can't help it. It's like we think they're uh, real. Yeah, we do, yeah. <laughs> we rock them. We, we, we rock hold them. them in store. We yeah. kind of like rock them about. You can't help but just get the old hips going when you got hold yeah. of one, yeah. Yeah, you know, just comes naturally. So yeah, really, really nice. Um, you have got a nice small fold on your egg. Does the egg in tandem, I'm assuming tandem, it actually says does the egg in random, but I'm assuming you mean tandem, Lucy, yeah. um, have the same size seat on the egg too. So your tandem seat is slightly smaller. Yep. So when you have it in two seat format, the seat is ever so slightly smaller um, than, than the one you get, obviously, with your standard yeah. stroller. Um, but again, um, it's still going to see you up to little one, well, we say should see you up until little one isn't isn't walking or at least yeah. until the older child is then walking yeah it depends on when you, you need so that you'll just put the smaller one in the slightly smaller seat won't yeah. You? But yeah but i say really like they've kind of made the frame a little bit bigger especially because with it being an ability to be a tandem it just gives that little bit more room between two children really high handle again and you can just change that it's the same mechanism so just with the twist in the middle and then to fold you're twisting that bar, but going backwards. Drop your handle down, and then you come into your basket where your bar is in the middle, and you're just picking up on there. So really, really easy. Super, super simple, because it is that two-step fold. You've got a lot of control, and it will freestand for you as well. Get it back up. Your catch is just along the front, and your wheels will just fly into place, and then you've got your handle as well. 
So really, really easy to work. You have got, they kind of plastic egg as you kind of multi-terrain push chair, so it will go over most surfaces. Again, you wouldn't take it over necessarily a really muddy, thick field. I don't think you'd want to. It's too pretty. She's too pretty to take over a, yeah. a, a deep, muddy field. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, but obviously, it is great for most, most surfaces and most people's lifestyle as well. But obviously, if you would like to see any of these push chairs in more detail, we have got our video consultations that we are offering. Um, and we can show you as many push chairs or as many products as you like in full detail. Um, because I'm very aware, obviously, it's really hard at the minute to kind of to see everything, isn't it? <laughs> Zara's. But other than the colour, I'm not so keen on this one. It doesn't have lights. No. <laughs> no, unfortunately, your egg two doesn't have lights. Like we said, they, you can buy lights. You, you can, can buy lights to put on any push chair. But um, no, unfortunately, it's not got lights. <laughs> no, it hasn't got lights, unfortunately. But yes, um, today we are giving away the Tula Spring. And I say, all you have to do is make a comment. Make a comment, join in with the chit chat. And it seems like we've got a lot of people joining. We do have a lot of chit chat. I'm really just trying good. to get caught up on all the question ones. Yeah. It's really, really nice that everyone's uh, joining in. I say, all you need to do is make a comment. You can share it with friends and family, just so that obviously you have got like, more of a chance to win. And you will win. Um, the Tula Spring in the aluminium um, frame, as we have it here, and then you get the choice of your hood. So there are different hoods available, um, from blues to pinks to, I think they have a grey option, of course. Um, so of yeah, course. Of course. 50 shades of grey. <laughs> yeah, lots of different grey, but it's a really, really nice. It, it is a, say, stroller, and um, it goes all the way up to 22 kilograms in weight. Yeah, so really, really nice. Um, someone has just asked, I'm not sure if you, because I was reading, I'm not sure if you did manage to get a chance to do it, but someone has just asked about the brake on here, so oh, I will yeah. just quickly show that. So on your egg, it is a um, press down to engage your brake, and then press down again to release. Okay, so nice as we say, flip-flop friendly or pedicure friendly, so you're not having to use your toes or to kick it up. Or boots or winter um, boots. Exactly, so that's how yeah. that works there. Oh, I've just seen my uh, winter boots on there. They're a bit snowy covered. No, <laughs> They're not in the best of states. No. <laughs> no. But, so, but I say, I'm, I do like a flip flop friendly break. Yeah. yeah. Not, so, some are like, but that aren't flip flop friendly are still really, really easy to work though. So it's not a necessity. We do obviously mention it a lot and we do kind of have a bit of a giggle about it. It's not a necessity to have a no. flip flop friendly break. It's just something we point out. Um, definitely. It depends on, if you say maybe um, really like your shoes and you have, do wear expensive shoes, you don't necessarily want to scuff them. That's another thing to consider. So the, the outs that has been into store recently, um, I say really, really exciting. We, we have again shown this lots to customers um, over video consultations. Is your maxi cozy marble? So maxi cozy marble um, is their kind of reclining car seat. Um, it's an infant carrier, and it will last your little one from birth to 15 months. And it's a really, really lovely car seat. Um, as you can see here, it has got all your inserts. And it's just kind of basically cocoons this one and sits this one in that correct position in the car seat. It is an R129 car seat, so it meets the eye size regulation, which is great. So it's had its frontal, rear, and side and rollover crash testing. It's say really nice car seat, and it has got your three-point harness, safety three-point harness in there, so really great. And I like the padding on here. Um, it's really nice, thick shoulder padding which is great, and then you've got your clip. Stand on most car seats and you just put in on your, your long strap there to tighten. So your car seat comes with a nice big hood, and I like it, it's a slightly larger hood than standard. Um, so it does come a little bit more forward, and always keep that forward in the car, which is an extra safety feature. Yeah. But your car seat, it's got that nice ventilation in it as well, isn't it, which a lot of, yeah. a lot of um, car seat hoods don't generally tend to worry about um, but if you do you know carry little one out or put it on your stroller or even just yeah. in the car you feel it's a bit hot and you want a little bit of air through there yeah you can do you can do yeah especially because people think oh I'm having a big black hood over in the summer months and um, you've got that obviously ability to have your ventilation over I'm just going to take my car seat off the base and just show you the base quickly so the base um, for the marble um, does come included so you do get it included with the marble and you have to have your base so the car seat itself can't be fitted seat belted it has to have its isofix base with it 
But it's a super, super easy base. And I like how compact it is. It doesn't take up too much room in the car. No. It's not too bulky as well. Same, obviously. Fitting's very standard on as most of their Maxi Cozy base, um, which is really great. So, Lucy Ann, does it recline in and out of the car? Yes, it yeah. does, Lucy. So, if you have it on your um, pusher, for example, you can still use that recline feature to it. Yes, um, you can. And it. obviously, it's great that you can recline it in the car as well. So, if you are stuck somewhere in traffic and you're panicking, it's nice and a little one is that little bit more reclined. We would, yeah. we would never say it gives you an indefinite amount no. of time, especially in those early stages. It's always still a good idea to get little one out and check them periodically, yeah. but obviously it will just sort of give you a little bit of breathing space, um, yeah. being in that slightly more reclined position. So that's it in the upright position, the standard, not like most infant carriers. And then at the back here, you've just got your grey lever. So what you want to do is push your lever and then, as you can see, the car seat will recline down into a 157 degree angle. So that's basically just, it's not completely life flat. So like Laura said, your still restrictions do still apply with the car seat. It just obviously sits baby in a lot more of an open position. So air, they've got a lot more air to their lungs and it's not so much pressure on their spine as well, which is the two significant reasons why there is that time restriction yeah. in the car seat. Um, but say really, really nice car seat, really good, good option to look at. It's available in different colours as well. Um, so as there's a couple of people asking about compatibility with strollers. So obviously it has been tested on all Maxi Cozy and, and Quinny strollers. But yeah. if there is a particular push chair that you have and you'd like to know if it's compatible, just send us a message on Facebook. Um, we haven't got, because um, it is still quite new, they are still updating the list of what it is and isn't compatible with. Yeah. So we can, if it's not even on our list, we can still ask the question for you because yeah. they do like to test it themselves. So just send us a message and we'll let you know on that one. Um, yeah. I would say is the best way to do that yeah um i've got a couple of people just talking about our prize again Ooh. so i do have a couple of people who missed the fold so would you mind just very quickly showing them of how course. it folds again so this is our prize today today's prize yeah it's your tula spring yeah so tula spring and um, it with the aluminium frame and then you also get your choice of hood so you can choose which hood you can get because it comes separately um, with it um, but it's a really really nice option I'll kind of run through it all again you have got your recline so you just your drawstring effect and then you pull down on the seat your mesh panel on the back which is great for those summer months but you can just tuck that down and keep your magnets out of the way telescopic handle which is quite unique for a stroller to have with that extra wrist support as well extendable hood which as you can see gives this one really good coverage and then your ventilated panel all the way around the back and it's a really light easy push here to, to kind of maneuver and um, I say it's really easy to to move about one-handed and I like the, the handle, it's really strange, but the texture on the handle, it's just really easy and really nice to push as well. Fold, you've just got your material in your seat. So it's a hidden fold. So you're lifting your material up, and as you can see here, you've got your blue slide button, and all you want to do is slide and then lift up. And as you lift up, it will kind of all click into place, and then you can freestand. So really, really easy to work. So yeah, I do have a couple of people just saying, oh, I hope I'm not too late to the party. I hope I'm still no, in the chance of winning. Yes, commented. you are. Any comment that you put on this video is in with a chance of winning. So don't panic. Keep those comments coming in because every time you comment, you are entered. And then at the end, we're just going to scroll randomly through them. One of us will shout stop and whoever we land on will be our lucky winner for the day. So it could literally be anyone, any of you. So yes, yeah, so we literally will draw at the end. One of us will say stop and off we go. Uh, and we will get, and so all you need to do is just basically choose a hood, and then it's all yours. Right. Do, 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 do. Okay. Right. I think we're. I think we're okay to move on. I am, like I say, I'm trying to catch up. <laughs> um. 
so yeah, a couple of people questioning about, again, the sort of terrains that you're going to be doing. Like we say, it has got those slightly smaller wheels, so you're yeah. not going to be going real off terrain but it is going to get you a good variety of, um, of terrain walks out of it. So... I think, I think I'm all caught up. If I have missed you, I'm really, really sorry. They're just coming through so quickly. <laughs> Good job I got my glasses on today, otherwise I'd really be struggling. <laughs> <laughs> um, right then, so um, how much is this? I'm assuming we're talking marble now, maybe? I'm not sure. But just to give you, um, to let you know, the marble does retail for... Currently on offer, isn't it? Uh, 279, but we currently have it on offer at 229. So 229, that will include the car seat and the base. You can buy your base separately, so if you did have two cars and you wanted to just swap the car seat over, you can just buy that base separate. But yeah, really, I think that's a really good price. For a car seat, it will last an infant carrier that has the recline feature. Yeah, it's going to last really, really nice. Um, so a couple of people asking about the wheels on the R Prize today, and they are not air pumped, so don't no, they're you're not going to worry about your um, punctures on there. And I've got someone asking if the front wheel locks. So your front wheel, you have got a, I'm just trying to find it, it's not sliding for me, it will lock into fresh place, fresh out of box, <laughs> yeah, it will lock into place, I'm being clumsy this morning, so you have got a slide button and you will can lock that into place at the back there so you can lock it into position so it's you can have it straight um we we'll always recommend probably locking it into the front if lock you it into place if you are over that more, more rougher terrain yeah um so say you are going to the park and things like that but on most of the time you probably have it in that civil position to be honest right and so those are our big big ticket items yeah big, aren't they? the big main big push chairs and bigger parts we have had lots of exciting little bits all coming yes. to store um, and it's something that's great. So we have spoken about it before. We do have our wish list. So wish list is really, really great um, because if it's something you've, maybe you've just found out or you may be um, you're looking at um, like friends or family are looking to buy you things, um, it's great. You can create this wish list, add all the little things that you really, really like, and obviously you can always come back to it. You can always kind of do a bit more research, watch more of our lives, and then kind of add to yeah. it, which is really so, great. So you might start with a list of five push chairs, <laughs> then slowly start deleting them off, narrow it down. Yeah. Or oh, I've seen that one, no, I like that. But then add more. Yeah. Oh, I've seen that one, I quite like that one. Yeah. And you know, these sort of little bits are great, because they, they might be something that you see and you think, oh, yeah, we might want that, but we don't know if we need it yet. So you pop it on your wish yeah. list and you think about it and yeah. you might come back to it. Um, so... Obviously, we've got your bath down here at the bottom. Yep. This is your mamas and papas. Um, it's got a duo, I can't remember, duo summit. <laughs> oh, no. Um, it's mamas and papas bath. Is what the name of it? Please, yeah. be, please, please feel free to message me later because <laughs> it escapes my mind right now. Um, but basically, the reason it's got dual purpose, as you can see, we have our sort of six month younger baby there at the back in the more reclined support position. As you can see, um, it's got a natural groove into the bath. Yeah, so it's all built in, so you don't have to worry about a separate bath seat, which is great. And then when little one grows and is able to sit up on their own, like our lovely David is doing at the end there. Poor um, David needed a bath after the high chair. <laughs> <laughs> yesterday. You, um, you just swap them around the other end, and then on David's side, obviously you've still got that nice um, crotch support in the uh, middle there but you also get a sort of back support here as well so it still aids them in sitting up yeah um, so it just sort of you progress into this so this is going to last you roughly till baby's 12 months yeah um, or Best until they're just too physically big for it yeah. basically and they until, splash until all the, the water, water no longer comes up high enough <laughs> until yeah you're fed up of having to mop the floor after every bath time yeah. you do get on here oh just pop it out your little clip and that is then used, if I pass that to you, George, so I'm not leaning over. So you here. can pass, this is to work your plug. So, yeah, you just pop that in there and then you can unscrew your pl plug to drain all your water out. Luckily, we have no water now. <laughs> <laughs> that would be bad, wouldn't it? I did say to Joe, I was like, oh, this is a shame, I can't actually create a bubble bath. But no, no, we can't do that. Um, but yeah, so it's really, really nice, it's great. Um, I like, quite like the size of it, it's quite a nice. Yeah, it's a good size because um, sometimes they are a lot smaller yes. and it's great but they do grow out of them quite quickly and then all of a sudden they're in this massive bath and you have to um 
lean over into the bath and it does become a bit yeah. more more tricky to do whereas when they're in one of these on the floor um, you do feel a bit closer to them and a bit yeah. more like you've got two hands whereas when you're leaning over into a bath it can seem a bit yeah more cumbersome yeah definitely What's baby david looks so happy yep it, he's very happy he's always in his bath. happy our baby david aren't you david come here again but you want to probably pat him on the back so yeah it's great i like the fact that it's quite a nice large large bath because it's it will kind of work for quite a long time for you it's not just something that will only last a few months it will last you all the way up to hopefully one years old won't it david Woo! <laughs> nearly drop poor david um a lot of people saying that they love the wish list but yeah. one person did put my problem would be the wish list would be the whole store yeah yeah you can't add everything to it i'm afraid so no, that i don't think work. there's a restriction but it won't help you i'm afraid it won't help um, right then, so what else have we got? So we also have here, so these are brand, brand new into us. They only turned up, was it yesterday. yesterday these came in? So there are a couple of items here that aren't yet listed on the website. They are that new in that we haven't had a chance yeah. to put them on the website yet. But don't worry, you can still get your hands on them. Yep, just send us a message and we will happily um, see to them for you. So this is your imprint tin. Yeah. Um, so obviously, lovely oh. little keepsake. Oh, you're throwing I'm, things on I'm the dropping, floor now. I'm dropping and breaking right, things. I'll get it. So you have... Got, sorry, Laura. You have got your two colours, which is really, really nice. Choose, nice choice to look at, uh, to choose from, sorry. And you can write their name and the date you um, you did the impression, and then also you have got the age. Um, but it's, it's a nice imprint kit, which is really great. Lovely keepsake. It's a really nice yeah. one for fr if you want to buy something for a friend or family. Um, because and their hands it will last. do get so big so quickly that it's nice to you keep forget, them. Really nice you always forget small. how small their hands were. How did their hands and feet be that small? It's a really great gift. Um, these are £12 each, so really nice um, as a gift for, say, somebody who has just found out they're, they're pregnant. Or <laughs> Sorry, some of the people's comments about David. Um, he doesn't look any bigger. Are you sure you're feeding him? <laughs> <laughs> he needs a rubber duck. Yes, we should have put a rubber duck in there we with him. We said after the, his video in the, in the snow, people were like... Um, because Joe's like, can you make sure to tell everyone that David, David, David is okay? <laughs> and I was like, were people actually concerned? Because he was very snowy, wasn't he, David? He was a bit, I think he got a bit of a cold. <laughs> he wasn't feeling he too wearing a coat, was he, poor thing? No. Um, so we also have a couple of new little toys as well. I'm just going to pop this down. So this one, obviously, you've got your tie strap. So you, you can tie it to, so for example, if you wanted to on a bumper bar or anything like that. You can tie that to it and then if they pull on the sun it does yeah. play music but i'm not sure if you'll be able to yeah that should work <laughs> yeah nice soothing music to send yeah. them off to sleep with it's really really cute and obviously it lasts as long as the sun's going up so it's got good time on it as well yeah it has yeah it's very very sweet and i like the 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 rainbow again it's kind of i do like the rainbow feature and the colors on them it's really and the cute. colors are quite um neutral aren't they yeah. so even though they're like brightly colored they are quite neutral. i'm not so going to sing the song i can see a rainbow i was about to <laughs> i was about to and i remember i'm live everyone, everyone will leave um <laughs> so this um retails at 16 pounds but i think that's lovely addition yeah. to um like a traveling toy if you like yeah and then i've got the little octopus which is so cute it's really really sweet um it's got the little um hook at the top so obviously you can hook at this again kind of on and if they maybe have a play mat that they really it's like also brilliant for teething yeah so it's, it has got the teaser effect on there, um, but you can have it on the car seat, kind of anywhere that kind of it will hook up to, which is, oh, then dropped it, which is really, really great. Um, they are sensory, so, and of course you can hear that. Um, and also it rattles. Sounds a bit like a cat toy. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a cat toy. It's I not. like the fact that they've gone with the black and white as well, yeah. because they do say, don't they, that black and white, obviously, in the early, early it's what stages, they it's first. all they can see. So yeah. it does stimulate them from an early age, which yeah. is lovely. So it's really, really nice. And this um, is £8, which is really, really sweet. Again, nice little thing to add to your wish list. Nice little po um, I was about to say pocket filler. That's not what... <laughs> Stocking filler. Stocking filler, yeah. There you go. And I just thought this was so, so sweet. So this is, again, really great um, to kind of um, display in the house. So it's just a scan frame um, that mamas and papas have just brought out to say it's really, really sweet. Really, really lovely. And obviously you can add your own. I don't know whose baby that is. <laughs> 
Might be a famous baby, we don't know. Who may be? Um, but no, I think... Mum is a cat, let us know. Whose baby is that? <laughs> scan pictures are that sort of awkward size that frames don't really come in that size. Yeah. So it's nice that you can, you know that you're, it's going to fit perfectly in there. Yeah. It's really, and again, again, a really lovely keepsake. Uh, keepsake. And then obviously this is £12 and you can obviously, um, it's designed to kind of either have it on the wall or you can just stand it on any surface. Yeah. Which is great. Now, um, just actually, while we're on mamas and papas, we'll finish with the we'll mamas might and well papas. Stick with mamas and um, papas. So we've got the tummy time activity toy as well. So again, same theme running through with your clouds. Do you know what and your... This would make you laugh. She <laughs> picked this up and went, oh! Because <laughs> oh, she saw it. Oh, nobody needs to see that. <laughs> well, that, thankfully, baby will only be looking at their sweet yeah. little faces. I don't think babies will react like that. <laughs> Kirsten's so, a little bit shocked, that was all. Again, you've got your teething um, bit here as well, which yeah. is on sort of like elastic. You've got your little rattly star, so lots of little interactive bits on there for them, and obviously it does support that sort of tummy time development yeah. when they are getting ready for that. Um, it, it's one of those things you're always a bit like when do I start tummy time yeah. am I ready for tummy time and the first few times you do it baby's going to hate it yeah. absolutely hate it they're not used to that position no, at all they're just going to sit there and go nye, nye, nye. they don't like it at all but obviously you need to do it and this is a great little um, way to aid oh. you with that sort of stimulate them while they're doing it it's like a dog toy <laughs> so we've got a cat toy and a dog toy anyone with pets apparently we stock for you too <laughs> we're not just baby friendly we're pet friendly with the new pets at home <laughs> But yeah, really, really nice, and it has got lots of different setting, um, settings, the different uh, features and sensory um, parts on here as well, including a little mirror. <laughs> yeah. Which will not scare a baby, hopefully. Um, it might scare the parents when they're a bit tired, but it won't scare. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no need to see that. <laughs> It made me giggle yesterday. Um, but that, uh, the price of that one is £19 as well. And we have got here the last mums and I think it's the last one we've got. Yep, last the last mums and papas product we have here it is their snug seat, and this is in the pink, uh, what's well, the rose colour? It does come in, I believe, three colours: rose, navy, and grey. And it's like a little activity, um, activity snug seat essentially. You have got your activities just on the front here. Um, I say this is not necessarily a new new product to mums and papas, but it's new to to us in store. Um, we have just recently had this out, which is really great. And fingers crossed people love it when they can come back into the store and see it. So yeah, lots of different um, activities. I used to love this. When you used to go to like, the doctors or something, you had to wait. And you had that little table. Just, I thought, yeah. Yeah, that's nope. the only entertaining thing you could do when you were waiting. They've probably all been banned now, haven't they, probably, for yeah. COVID and things like that. Yeah, no interactive toys and things. But um, no, it's really good. It will last you um, a really nice long time. Obviously, you've got like, nice cushioned um, padded seat in yep. there, as you can see, but you can eventually remove that as well. Yep. You can take this off. Um, you can yep, you can remove your tray as well, so just use it as a sit sitting aid. They basically say you can use this from when little one is able to support their own head. Yep. Um, and then, like I say, it will last you until um, basically until they, they don't fit in it. Yeah, don't don't ever try and put a child in it, it's too big for it. Their bottom no longer fits, yeah, really. Yeah, the bottom will get stuck, but... Um, yeah. You can take this obviously out. Great, obviously, to wipe and to keep clean. Yeah, and you've also got, you can remove your, your toys off your tray yeah. as well, so you could always use your tray as These are just like, suctioned into place, yeah. so you've still got your tray there. So you can use this for maybe um, snack time, early weaning. If they're not quite ready for a high chair, it's going to give them that nice little bit of support. Or storage, maybe you haven't got the space for yeah. the high chair. Yeah. It'd be great to obviously just have that. We had this out a few weeks ago when I was with Joe, and I said I used it for my nephew's haircuts. Yeah, good, yeah. So it's for really like great for keeping them nice and still and in the right position for a haircut. Yeah, because <laughs> the high chair is too high up, isn't it? Like, as in, like, yeah. you can't actually get to the back of the head. Yeah, so it was perfect. They have, like, short sides and really long back. <laughs> That's not a lot you want. Yeah, it's all right. The mullet's coming back this year, apparently. Oh, is it? So I've been told. Oh. Glad I got out of the hairdressing game when I did. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so... Just quickly, our last little gadget. Little gadget. We love, we love the I mean, little again, us. not necessarily a new product, but still relatively new for us in store. This is your um, Tiny Love Meadow Days um, Sound and Sleep. He's got a whole multitude of functions on the back nice. there, as you music, can see. Music, you can record. Yeah, you've, you've got, got your lights. Um, heartbeat noises as well as music and things like that. You also get, I don't know if he's got any batteries in him. He has. You should be able to press the power. Oh yeah, <laughs> press the on button first, Laura, it's always a good start. I always flash it against the wall, it should work. Oh, there you start. go. Yeah, you go, It look. will project stars on to your ceiling. Oh, maybe you can hear Oh yeah, on the, on the black, does that work? That work? 
Uh, sort of. No. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, there you go. It, it will project stars onto it's your ceiling. It's a shame we can't film in the dark. Obviously, in the dark, it works a little bit better. Um, but it's great as a sort of night light and, and it's so cute. To sleep. Yes, it's, it's very, really very cute. cute. Um, and say so it's got the, the felt on along the the top there. Let um, me see if I can get him playing. It's all just, you know, yeah, take a so moment. Lots of different, <laughs> yeah. It's all you say to breathe. <laughs> and breathe in. <laughs> it feels like a bit like that. And breathe out. So, yeah, lots of different, lots of different tunes on there. But, yeah. It's slightly different to most standard kind of, like, sleep aids, isn't it? I think it's just great that it's got so many different tunes and that on it and, and like you can say, put whatever you want on sort it of well. like an interactive character a little one will like playing yeah. with it as well as using it for those yeah battery opt operator doesn't need to be plugged in either so that's even better so i think, I think we've gone through everything like we said it's been a bit of a mixture today it's been a bit of a, bit of a crazy <laughs> one because we're used to kind of throwing just push chairs or just yeah it's kind of a bit of everything so fingers crossed you and hopefully you have enjoyed um today's live um, and I say thank you for everyone that did comment yesterday on all the recommendations for lives because we did get quite a lot through. Um, and it is really interesting to see what sort of things you are interested in looking at. I'm just going to bring our prize uh, forward again. So this is the Tula Spring. And one of you will be the lucky winner to win the Tula, Tula Spring. And you will get to choose which colour hood you would like. And so there's lots of different options. So if you are the lucky winner, just send a message and we can always send the details over. Or they are on, are on our website as well, aren't they? All the, all the hoods and different colour options as well. I think so. Yeah. Um, <laughs> they should be all on our website so you can have a look. To run through it again, it's a really nice option. It goes all the way up to 22 kilograms. And it's quite a nice tall push chair um, with a nice extendable handle. Slightly, so it's not an all terrain push chair, but it will go over multi surfaces. So grass, park, cobbled surfaces. And it'll be absolutely fine. And you do get a fairly good sized basket as well. But get friendly basket, which is really, really great. Um, and what we'll do is we'll announce the winner. I have to read minutes. this out for Jose. It's been very good. Thanks, ladies and cameraman. There you oh, go, Jose. You got a mention. <laughs> It's not just us that been no, great. There's it's always the... three of us here. Yep. And also, let's be honest, these lives wouldn't be that great without the camera. No, because... I think we'd struggle if yeah. Jose wasn't here. So. And not only just for filming, he's like, come on, seven o'clock, come on. <laughs> yeah, it keeps us on time because we would dawdle a bit. Have a... Oh, let's just have another biscuit. Well, look, let's just have another donut. Why not? Let's have a bit of a chit chat. So yeah, he keeps us on time. So we've got a lot to be grateful for there. Yep. So well, thank, <laughs> thank you to Jose. Yep, absolutely. Um, definitely. Has anyone else having um, any comments? No, no more questions. So I think we might be ready to... Um, so yeah, to... get your comments in. Yep. Get your comments in. I say gonna start we will to... announce the winner in a couple of minutes. So if I just park this up here so you can have a look. But I say really, really nice. And it's quite nice to do, do a variety of different coloured hoods. So you can completely customise oh, it. Oh, someone has just said, sorry, I missed how much the tiny love thing was. No, you didn't, my lovely. I forgot to say. <laughs> <laughs> the tiny love sound and sleep um, retails for 39.99. OK. Yeah. Yeah, I did forget to mention that. So apologies there. If there is anything we've not covered, and we, we do apologise, we, uh, you know... We're getting used to this. We're life, getting used to being we? left on our own. Yeah. So if there is anything we've not mentioned and there is anything that you do want answering, like I said, we are always here on Facebook. Yeah. So just send us a message or even an email or you can just ring the store. We are still here seven days a week. Yeah, um, we're here, don't we? And like we say, our video consults are available. You can book one of those on the website. So no, silly, no question is a silly question. No. We always say that. Ask anything you want and we're happy to answer what we can. Um, yeah, So definitely. yeah. Definitely. Okie dokie. Shall I Have start? you got the power, Laura? I'm, I'm going to keep the power Laura's today. Laura's got the power. I would normally hand it back, but I'm not Kirsty going to Kirsty freaked today. out with the power yesterday. <laughs> Laura loves the power. Like, yeah, so I'm, I'm going to keep the power. And I I'm passed it to Kirsty yesterday. She went, what? I, I had the iPad. <laughs> <laughs> so I think I'm about ready to start scrolling. And then are you going to stop? So yeah, stop? I will say the word stop. Don't do it yet. <laughs> um, and we will announce the winner. And they will win the Tula. Um, to the spring and I say it's worth around about £400 depending on which colour hood you choose so really really good price so Laura is scrolling I've already mixed them up so I've no She's idea whether I'm near the top or the, the bottom I don't know I've, I'm just going up and down up and down I don't know where I am stop oh okay Gemma Sandler it's Ooh. nice to have a choice don't know what that was referring to Gemma but 
you now have a choice. <laughs> Hopefully You've it was well about done. the fact that you have a choice of colour of hood. <laughs> yes, because well done. You are our lucky winner today. And you have won the Tula Spring. Um, and it will be the aluminium frame and you will just need to choose the hood colour. So have fun. Have fun choosing which colour hood. And obviously send a message with all your details. And we of course can send you the options for a choice of hood. And yeah, we can get that all sorted for you. So well done. There well you go. done to you. And I say thank you everyone for joining. Just um, written congratulations underneath your comments. And I, that's one thing I always like, make sure I do that right because it's the one thing I need to do. Um, but yes, thank you everybody for joining. I hope you have found it helpful. Again, if there is any other recommendations for lives, something that you uh, would like to see, um, fingers crossed it's been interesting to see what we've had. I made. have had a couple of people saying it's nice to see some different bits and pieces. Yeah, so I think a lot of people enjoyed our nursery um, kind of um, video me and Kirsty did because again, yeah. it's lots of different products, lots of different varieties. Maybe something... Um, Maybe have you just found out and you wanted to know kind of what essentials you would maybe need. That yeah. might be a good, interesting video. But yeah, just let us know. Obviously send a message. Um, but yes, thank you everybody for joining. I'm trying to think, no, we're not going live tomorrow because that's a Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we will be back on Monday. So we do go live Monday to Friday um, around 11 o'clock. So yeah, join us on Monday for our live again. I don't know who it's going to be. But you never know, it could be me and Laura. It won't be me, I'm be here on Monday. That'd <laughs> be very, very clever if you got me here on Monday. Yeah. yeah. Laura, she didn't know this yet, but she's here on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, thank you everybody for joining. I hope you found it helpful. And have a lovely weekend. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.